Hey everyone, no new cars today, so I figured a couple oldies would be interesting. This is my very first resin car. I got this in 2015 at the Detroit Autorama, and I thought to myself, it's so weird, it's a brick, nothing opens, I don't want this. But it was $50, which seemed like a good price for it. It's an interesting subject matter, this is the... Ford Sierra Cosworth 4x4 by Otto. It wasn't made in die cast, so I didn't really have any other choices. And again, 50 bucks, why not? I took a chance. Now, of course, I have like 30, 40, 50 autos in my collection and probably 100 resin cars. And when you flip it over, it's not numbered. This is a trade sample. They had wound up making 1,500 of them, so instead of one of 1,500, this is one of the pre-production samples. One of the debates is, does that make this worth more than one of the 1,500 production cars? I don't know. How many production samples did they make? 30? 40? 100? I don't know. But I have three or four like this that are unnumbered. Um, again, this sold out pretty quickly. You cannot get this car anymore. They're re-releasing it in black. But if you try and find it in white like this one, it um, goes for like $200, $300, $350 on eBay. So my $50 investment wound up being pretty good. Typical auto quality. I always wonder, is it a little better when it's a pre-production sample? Is the quality worse? I don't know. But there really aren't noticeable flaws. Good wheels, good tires. Uh, you do not have open mesh. This, is, this was released in 2013 by Auto. And again, this is a car we never got in America. Pretty neat, though. So again, this is what started my resin obsession. On the other side, we have a good old-fashioned Auto Art Millennium. This is the uh, Sierra RS. Again, Ford. Um, this We got close to this in the U.S. with the Mercor XR4 Ti pretty much the same car just detuned a little bit you have the cool by wing I love the parcel shelf that's flocked trunk is flocked this is made by a few different companies you can get um, mini champs I think makes this die cast as well you do have an open grill you've got dog legs because back then the Millennium was their kind of value priced not quite value price, but you know, middling level. So it probably would have retailed for $59, $69. I probably paid between $30 and $50 for this. Pretty good engine detail overall. You do have a working prop rod. Decent undercarriage detail. And again, if you look, this is a full engine. This isn't the new stuff they do where it's a half molded engine. You can actually see daylight through the top and bottom. I do appreciate that. One of the best parts, though, my handy-dandy crevice tool here, the finish on the seats, the flocking is really realistic, really good. Even the center's flocked with a pattern. I don't really see AutoArt successfully doing seats this well anymore. I mean, really convincing. It's not shiny. It's uh, an accurate graining size. So they did a really good job there, so I missed that. This is another one. Go on eBay, try and find it. Two, three, four hundred dollars is what people want for this car. So again, certainly appreciate it. They both appreciate it. You would think the resin would be worth nothing because it doesn't open, but you'd be incorrect. There's your Millennium Series enclosed non-window box packaging. Styro inner. I'm not even going to bother showing Otto's packaging. It's a white box. Not exciting. Um... So I, I think I've exhausted myself on digging up these old cars. I do have a couple new purchases that finally hit the U.S. that I'll be picking up this week. So sorry if I'm boring you guys with older cars. New stuff is on the way. Everyone have a good week. Please like and subscribe.